here's how to create a drop down login and registration form uh, as part of the header on your bubble app so uh, here's my bubble app as it's coming along and I have a login and a sign up button uh, at the top here so we do this by using a group focus um, container and a group focus has to be attached to another element so this is going to be my attached to sign up uh, and I then need to apply a slight negative offset and I can click in the box and just use the arrow keys on my keyboard to finally adjust it so that's in line and looking neat and then let's just give it a few down from the top perfect um, let's now put in some fields uh, so I need to have uh, a um, an email and a password so the bare minimum I need for a registration or sign up form so I'm using the new responsive engine this is going to be using columns um, let's add in a little bit of padding all around the side just to neaten it up um, make this 100% width uh, some of these principles are just part of uh, building your app with responsiveness in mind um, then let's put in some spacing in between uh, and go on to our input uh, so this is going to be of type email that's just so that um, bubble can validate whether it is indeed an email that's been entered there uh, we also need to make sure that this can't be empty as it's an essential part of our form and then we have password also I've just copied and pasted it so that's also uh, not empty uh, we'll just change the placeholder so it's really clear when we're testing it okay and then last thing we do is we need to have a button again just making setting it up so that it will be easily responsive in the future uh, so this is going to say register okay now let's work on our workflow so when register is clicked uh, we go into account and uh, we sign the user up and we just match up the fields so uh, oh I've got a couple of ones called email uh, I think that's because okay yeah so from a previous demonstration uh, check out that video I've got how to do it as a pop-up uh, I'm going to delete that for now or because it's just creating some confusion because I've got two email fields labeled the same uh, so let's go back here and uh, input email input password okay if you want to add any other fields um, like first name you would do so here but I'm not planning to do that and then let's go and see what it looks like on the front end Okay, and nothing happens. I need to have a workflow for when the button is clicked. So sign up is then going to uh, element actions show. Uh, this is where I should have labeled things to begin with. Um, call this registration. Now I can find it much more easily in here. Group focus registration. Right, now we should have something we can test so click sign up there it is uh, so this uh, let's go map that. Um, in fact I think I might need to make that unique in case I've tested with this before and register okay now we saw that bobble did something because the loading bar flashed across the top and I know from experience that I'm now uh, logged in um, and I even have it on this page from a previous demo a way to test that and you might have noticed it I've got this piece of text here saying current user is logged in and if you rewind the video 10 seconds you'll notice that when the registration process let's remove that when the registration process completes uh, this changes from no to yes because I am now logged in now there's one other thing we could do to make that a really good experience which would be um, when register is clicked uh, to hide the group focus otherwise it's just going to stay there okay right now let's work on login so I'm just going to copy and paste my registration one and name that as uh, login okay and because I want it to appear in the same place 
uh, I'm going to have it so that it's still attached. The reference element is sign up. Um, let's just hide registration so I'm not confused. Okay, right. Uh, so now we have login. So let's rename this. And because I copied and pasted it using a keyboard shortcut, the workflows are not intact. If you want to copy and paste a workflow, uh, you have to use the built-in edit button uh, in Bubble. Uh, yeah, copy with workflow. Um, so here I would go to account, sign the user up, email address. Uh, all right, now I have created for myself multiple fields. So I'm gonna rename this to login. So as to not get confused. There we go, matching up the fields. And let's add in a uh, similar step uh, from last time of hiding the, um, the group focus. Login. Cool. Okay, so now if uh, oh we need a show, we need a show of course. Uh, so um, let's go back into login. Here we go. Element show um, group focus login. Let's test that. 